Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. What an amazing morning it's been. And make sure that you check out when I interviewed the founder of the Ab Roller. So make sure that you go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. The only place where entrepreneurs align. Well, I'm super excited today because I'll tell you what, your body and your butt are going to thank you because we have with us Jason Langston, the co-founder and co-creator of Gelco Products, which is patented in three countries. You could reach him by going to gelcoproducts.com. All right, with that, Jason, take it away. Why, when I say your butt, body, back, and everything is going to help you, I'm not kidding. Well, thank you. Thank you for the introduction, and thank you very much for having me on the show. We created the G-Seat because... Many years ago, when we were first getting started in the business, my business partner sat at a chair for 15, 16 hours a day, an expensive chair at that, doing research for telecommunications. And she always said, I have all this gel wrist pad stuff, but I need a gel butt pad because at the end of the day, what really bothers me the most is my butt. So she actually took the initiative of started to look at what manufacturers' names are on the back of the gel wrist pads and was going through doing some research on the which ones felt the best. And then she came up with a manufacturer that was in San Fernando and we developed the G seat at that time with the help of that manufacturing plant, learning things about how to manufacture stuff. I'd never manufactured anything in my life at that time and neither had she. So we ramped up pretty quick on understanding what materials work well and we created the G seat. And the G seat then was put into the marketplace as a seat cushion unlike any other. At that time, they were mostly squares and rectangles. And the only way you knew a difference from any of them was maybe reading the marketing literature. But we went direct to consumers through Sharper Image, Hammock, or Schlemmer. Basically, I was pulling the SkyMall catalog out of every seat I sat in because I was traveling a lot. And would just cold call all the companies that were listed in the SkyMall page. And customer service, you know, email was sort of at its beginning stages then, or at least, you know, getting not nearly what it is today. So you would send an email to a, or to a customer service number and then make a phone call. And then we did a lot of that. Uh, but that's how we caught traction was pushing the G seat as it looked something innovative. It was new in its appearance, uh, designed from the ground up. And then on the catalog page where you'd have maybe three or four products that were squares or rectangles, and then you'd see our product, it was aesthetically intriguing. People bought it because it caught your attention because – most of the time, you only have a couple seconds there to really get their attention, and we did that very successfully. We became a mark. We became a category leader in every catalog that we entered, and um, they were all good customers of ours <clears throat> because the GC works. I mean, customers would buy it because they caught their attention. It has a patented integrated handle and foldable design, so you can take it with you anywhere you sit and use it anywhere you're going to go. Use it while you travel. In fact, because Jason, how much are we sitting on in our lifetime? I mean, most of the time we're either at school or we're in work and most of the positions too, you know, have you sitting and now with computers, right? I mean, we're always sitting, we're sitting at home, we're sitting when we're watching TV. And, and so talk to us about what it does too for the structure and why it's, why it's important just for your health too. Sure, certainly the, the GC, again, we created something from the ground up. We didn't look at what other people were doing and copied it. As a matter of fact, we worked with a design firm in Thousand Oaks that designs BMW interiors and you know they do a great job of ergonomics and we said this is going to be an ergonomic product so don't you know forget about whatever you may have thought about a seat cushion we're going to start from scratch and so then our product has material where you want it uh, it has a foam base with a gel layer over the top so that the foam still works like a shock absorber but the gel disperses your pressure at the point of contact there's a center relief groove that eliminates all pressure on your soft tissue and your tailbone and then the forward slope of the product, because it slopes forward a few degrees, what that does is it just tilts your pelvis ahead or restores your natural lumbar curvature while you're using it so that you sit up more straight. And those elements together help to reduce impact from being seated. They use your body's natural mechanics to help you sit up more straight and relieve low back strain and stress. We have plenty of customers who even tell us they have relief in their neck and their shoulders. And you're right. 
with the onslaught of the computer and the computer enabled the workforce, that was our original target market. And wow, how vast is that? Uh, we wanted to create a product that for people who had to sit for work every day, no matter what kind of chair they had, we could improve the ergonomics of that chair because honestly, the chair business doesn't have a lot of disruption going on. You put six or seven chair manufacturers put their products next to one another, you can't tell the difference between most of them, if any of them. You put our product on top of any chair, whether it's a $99 chair from Office Max or a $400 or a $1,000 chair from some other manufacturer who claims to be ergonomic, we improve that chair across the board nine times out of 10. I mean, that's excellent. And again, I've been using it, so I gotta tell you, I love using it. And you know what else? Our listeners, while you're gonna be using it sitting down, maybe at your computer or in your car, I've used it in my car, make sure that you listen and tune in to the Alliances Hero Show with me, David Kogan, host of the show. Make sure you go to alliances.com. It is the only place where entrepreneurs align. In fact, I'm going to share a secret with you as we're interviewing, that's right, the co-founder and co-creator of Gelco Products. We could be reached at gelcoproducts.com. And of course, we'll have the link on our website, Jason Langston. You may have the lifetime opportunity to meet him live in person at one of the many experiences, both physical and virtual, because Jason is part of the Alliances community. In fact, Jason, share with our listeners, because there may be someone out there that may not know what Alliances is, what has done for you? Wow, Alliances has been a tremendous asset for us. Um, as a business person and just even as a human, the, the opportunities to network with people at Alliances has been great. And I came into it with some pessimism, but I'm walking away from it being a very big supporter. I am an apostle and a believer of what the organization is and what David has created. The resources of people that are available to you from diverse backgrounds, vast experience in all levels of business, but also in personal, you know, performance and life coaching. I mean, it's it's truly an asset. And, and I frankly, we would not be as a business where we are now and I wouldn't be where I am and the opportunities that are ahead of us with, you know, promotion of the G seat and, and building our business to a greater scale without the resources that Alliances has put on the table in front of me. It's fantastic. You have learned so much in regards to bringing, bringing a product to market. And most people who have never done it before can't realize the amount of work that goes into it. Perhaps you can share some secrets, nuggets that can help those that say, you know what, I've got an idea. I'd like to bring it to market. Can't I just flip a switch, contact some people and away we go? Well, like anything that is worthwhile, it takes some time, it's gonna take consistent effort, and if your product is truly valid, you would wanna get some input from some peers or other people around you or other people that you may be introduced to who have done what we have done. Alliance is a great place for that. I met some fantastic people. I don't wanna name names right now because I'm not sure if they would want me to cite them, but there are members in Alliances who have taken products into some very large scale opportunities and so if you're gonna, if you have the, an idea for a product, one of the things you should do right out front is talk to other people around you. Talk to people you trust, tell them what is your idea. That's how we did it. We shared it with our friends and family, had them try the prototype, got input from them, because if you're gonna sell to consumers, the people around you typically are gonna be part of your user base. So feel free to talk with them. And if you have something that you think might be infringed upon or you're really gonna be a disruptor, then talk to a, a, an appropriate patent attorney and get some cost on what it, you, know, you should spend or invest in to protect yourself. We own patents in South Korea. I have a patent in China. We have trademarks in Mexico, China, South Korea, the United States, we have patents in in the United States now that have, I think my patent now is like 16 or 17 years since the application. So definitely protect yourself, but don't be afraid at first to get the input of others. Well, Jason, you definitely, you saw a need, you provided a better way to sit so everyone can have better posture, be more comfortable. And that in itself, that takes a hero to bring to market. So Jason Langston, co-founder and co-creator of Gelco Products. Make sure that you check out gelcoproducts.com. This has been David Cogan with Alliances.